Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my channel Python for Microscopists on YouTube. In the last uh, few videos, I actually talked about linear regression, k-means, uh, clustering, Gaussian mixture model clustering, and uh, again, uh, they all fall under the umbrella of machine learning. So this short video just summarizes again the difference between unsupervised and supervised machine learning. This is something I've already covered under uh, what is machine learning anyway video again go ahead and look at it if you want but uh, I'm going to summarize it anyway before jumping on to the next topics that I'm going to record which would be uh, supervised machine learning techniques so let me refer to a couple of slides I've used in one of my uh, previous uh, explanation videos to explain what machine learning is uh, or to summarize it now. So uh, supervised and unsupervised learning are the two uh, types of machine learning in general. Uh, I mean, two types that fall under the umbrella of machine learning. And unsupervised learning is where, as the name suggests, you know, the user is not supplying any labeled information. In other words, we are not telling the system uh, what the uh, uh, data corresponds to. For example, if you're trying to sort, uh, you know, a bunch of images into uh, images of uh, healthy cells and uh, let's say bad cells or sick cells, you're not telling the, which ones are healthy, which ones are bad. You're just providing all the data and letting the algorithm figure it out. So the system itself develops and organizes this data and it searches for any common traits yeah so in this example uh, it's it's a pretty simple example for example uh, you look at these uh, pixel values and then you uh, plot them and you tell the uh, system you tell the algorithm okay i want three uh, to divide this into three different clusters well for k means it's going to find the centroids of these uh, clusters iteratively by looking at the distance between each data point and the centroid of this now if you say okay uh, three is not enough i want four then of course it's going to do that whether it is right or wrong it's up to you to validate it after looking at the result but uh, it, it is going to find four centroids based on the data that you have provided so that K means example again it's a it's a clustering example now uh, Gaussian mixture models which I already talked about again in uh, uh, my previous video uh, is another way of performing clustering except as the name suggests it uses Gaussians to fit the data into a bunch of Gaussian uh, Gaussians with a specific uh, uh, median value or sorry mean value and uh, the variance values so this is unsupervised learning and clustering is the primary way uh, that most people use and most effective way of performing unsupervised learning now when you look at supervised learning obviously as the name suggests it is supervised meaning the user tells uh, the system the ground truth. For example, in this example, uh, for image segmentation, I can paint a few pixels in different colors and I can say, okay, uh, these pixels are all, uh, label them as white, these pixels label them as dark, these ones as gray, and these ones as light gray, for example, okay? So I'm giving them labels and I'm calling them white, dark, uh, uh, gray, and light gray. Okay, and this is uh, an example of supervised learning. Other examples of supervised learning, let's say uh, you probably, when you look at uh, uh, machine learning uh, tutorials online, you, you'll see various examples. One common example would be, okay, should we play golf or not, right? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? What is the temperature outside? And all of those parameters. So these are all like you're tr giving these values to the algorithm to train it and uh, how does it actually get trained you know there are, again there are various algorithms uh, support vector machines random forest and there are many ways to do that and again under supervised there are two primary uh, classifications or two primary methods one is classification the other one is regression uh, the simple difference is classification as the name suggests again it classifies data into uh, a bin that you have defined. For example, if you define class A, class B, class C, and class D, it looks at uh, the data and it says, okay, is this uh, class A, is this class B, is this class C, or is this class D, and then puts it into that bin. Regression, on the other hand, uh, tries to predict uh, the value, you know, a specific value. For example, uh, okay, the historically the sales has been, you know, uh, a specific, uh, let's say we sold 
50 systems in the last month we sold 40 systems the month before we sold so many systems the month before right so based on that you can actually uh, you know, uh, try to forecast or try to get a specific number uh, you know how many systems am I going to sell next year at the same time then you look at historical data and then you can try to predict that so again that is a regression problem where you're trying to predict a specific value now some of these algorithms like decision trees and ensemble methods like for example when I combine this uh, there is an algorithm called random forest it's a regression algorithm but that can be used for classification what do I mean by that? Like, for example, if you take uh, a pixel that is very close to this dark uh, area right there, let's say for that pixel to belong to dark gray, you see, if I only have light gray and dark gray regions, where do you put that in? Does that belong to light or does that belong to dark? It seems to be somewhere in between these two, maybe closer to the dark one. So this one will come up with a probably a value of let's say 0.6 for the dark pixel and 0.4 for the light uh, pixel here. Then we tell the algorithm that okay, if since 0.6 is larger than 0.4, I'm going to call this uh, uh, a dark uh, gray pixel. Okay, so in a way I'm taking regression and I'm setting some thresholds to the regression values and converting that regression problem into a classification problem. Okay, so uh, this is supervised learning. Again, classification, regression, and unsupervised learning clustering is one of the primary methods. Uh, so just to summarize, how do we operate? You know, let's say I have a bunch of data. Now, how do I go about performing my machine learning analysis? First rule of thumb, especially for supervised machine learning, split your ground truth data into training and testing data sets. If you have a bunch of labeled data, okay, uh, uh, divide that into training and testing data set. Typically, you would like to use more of your data for training and uh, keep only a little bit for testing. So you take that training. If you have the luxury of having a lot of data, you can get away by splitting it into 50-50. But if you don't have a lot of data, we tend to use about 70 or 80% for a training data set. Uh, and then you take the training data set and try to fit a model. Okay, the model obviously is describing various features. Uh, you know, based on the features, you come up with this model and then you create uh, this model. And how do you know the model is working fine? Well, you obviously have to uh, test it on the testing data set because testing data set is nothing but randomly selected subset of your original data. So you know what the ground truth is. So you take the model and then compare against the predicted, uh, uh, the testing data. Again, testing data, you know what it is supposed to be. From the model, you predict what uh, you get and then you test it and you say, okay, the accuracy is 95%. When you uh, compare between the testing and the prediction, you're happy, go ahead and uh, use the model for other data sets. Okay, this is the general uh, way that you work. Uh, and uh, now finally, I would like to end by just showing uh, a different version of the previous screen, which is, uh, uh, okay, for machine learning, which is what we were talking about, you have some input and then you extract some features. Again, let me go back. I mentioned about uh, working with features to create the model. Okay. Again, I'm going to record another video talking about what features are, but you take these features and as a user, it really helps if you know something about your data. Okay. If you look at your uh, microscope images and you can actually see that, okay, uh, Wherever there are cells, the texture is, uh, you have very intense texture. Wherever it is just a glass slide, you don't have any texture. It's pretty flat, right? So you can use that information and then basically look at what features better extract that information out of your images. So you as a user are a better engineer uh, uh, at uh, uh, designing, you know, your own features rather than trying to rely on some uh, deep learning or some some automated means I would say uh, so it really helps if you know understand your data and then once you engineer your uh, your features again I'm gonna 
talk about it later on uh, in a different video. Once you engineer the features, feed the data into the classification algorithm. The representation here is for random forest, but it can be support vector machines or any of those algorithms. Feed that into this and uh, 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 train this algorithm to create a model that can be used to segment your data later on. When it comes to deep learning, you're not engineering the features. In fact, uh, uh, you're actually creating a network, okay, uh, in uh, a neural network that actually does your feature extraction classification. So it's think of this like a black box where the neural network actually uh, is trained and all the weights are distributed. Again, if you, that, that doesn't make any sense, don't worry. You'll eventually learn what it is uh, at some point, but uh, that's the difference between machine learning and deep learning, okay? So let me quickly summarize what is supervised, what is unsupervised, and uh, that's the whole point of this video anyway. So unsupervised, let's start by unsupervised. Un supervised okay so unsupervised is where you have your data and then you it just the system just builds a model okay it just builds a model and then once the model is built you basically look at is that valid or not valid right I mean you are going to look at the output and you're going to say is that valid or not valid and then you accept it okay so and supervised on the other hand okay you have your data you split the data into training okay so you split the data into training and uh, testing or validation if you want to call that and okay so you have these two bins and then using the training you're actually building a model, okay? And you take this model and you test it on the testing data set. So, and you kind of validate it. So is it valid or not valid, okay? So you take it from here and then the model comes from your uh, model right there. And if this looks good, you accept the model. Well, of course, you feed it back and then uh, you accept the model, okay? So if the model looks good, you accept it. This is pretty much it. This is the difference between uh, the supervised, unsupervised. And by the way, if you wonder where does the net, uh, 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 neural network actually uh, fall into this whole thing, well, this process is the same except for uh, neural networks. Let me just change the color so it's a bit easy for us to see. For neural network, this one, instead of building a model, this is basically create a neural network, okay? So, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the difference right there. Everything else uh, looks pretty much the same, except one, uh, the way it uh, validates this is uh, 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 you just uh, adjust the parameters automatically and then rebuild the model, adjust the parameters, and so on. Okay, so it does this parameter adjustment. So uh, I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and uh, I hope you now better understand what is unsupervised, what is supervised and a little bit about what what is neural network. In the next couple of tutorials I'm going to focus primarily on the supervised machine learning and uh, uh, talk about feature engineering, talk about features, talk about a couple of uh, uh, algorithms that I personally like when it comes to supervised machine learning, and uh, finally uh, build our own, uh, engineer our own features, build our own model to uh, segment uh, images. Uh, so uh, if you like this tutorial, again, go ahead and like, uh, like this, and also subscribe to my channel if you like the content I'm producing here. Thank you very much.